guys! This is Teacher SP and welcome to my channel. Kapag bago lang po kayo sa aking channel, mag-subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell para po updated kayo sa lahat ng mga videos tutorial ko. So today, I will be teaching you on how to solve word problem using Pythagorean Theorem. So when we say Pythagorean Theorem, Pythagorean Theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse is the sum of the square of the two sides. So, paano po yon? So, like for example, the general formula there, so as what I have mentioned just now, that the square of the hypotenuse, so we need to represent the square of the hypotenuse as the C. The sum, pag when we say sum, the operation is plus, the sum of the square of the two sides. So, the two sides are A squared plus B squared, where A is the altitude, where B is the base. So, if you're going to um, make it or C that is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So, this is now the formula when we are going to get the hypotenuse. From my previous um, video, meron po doon how to derive a Pythagorean formula. So, since we have our general formula here, I'm going to, to give you, find the length of the hypotenuse. So, when we're talking about the hypotenuse, it means to say, this is the longest side of a triangle. So, if I'm going to draw a right triangle, and... If I'm going to label here as angle C and opposite of it is side C, so that is what we call the hypotenuse, right? And if I'm going to label this as angle A, this will be your altitude. And if I'm going to label this as angle B, this is what we call the side B, which is the side base. So you go back to the problem again. With sides measuring 3 centimeters and 4 centimeters. So, our given here are 3 centimeters and 4 centimeters. Ngayon, tatanungin ko kayo, mga estudyante. Ano po ang pinaka ma maliit na number dyan? Between 3 and 4. Di po ba 3? So, where are we going to uh, label it? Alam po natin na ang altitude is longer than the base. So, therefore, your base is 3 centimeters. And your altitude is 4 centimeters. And, hinahanap po natin ang hypotenuse. And this is what we call the longest side. So, you go back again to the general equation. We know that in finding the side C, which is the hypotenuse, you will be using the formula square root of a squared plus b squared. So, using this given 4 and 3, then the solution will be c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So, c is equal to the, the, the value of your a is 4 squared plus 3 squared. Okay, C is equal to the square root of 4 squared. When we say 4 squared, you need to multiply dalawang beses po. 4 times 4, and that is equal to 16 plus 3 squared, that is equal to 9. So, you get the sum of C is equal to the square root of 25. So, we know that the square root of 25 is equal to so therefore, the, the value of side C, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to 5 centimeters. Okay. So ngayon po, mga kaibigan, tatanungin ko kayo. 4, 3, 5. And we know that hypotenuse is the longest side of the right triangle. So therefore, ang 5 is the longest, right? Okay, now. Did you understand? If I'm going to give you another example, I have here on my uh, green board. Okay, so 
the problem says that a 20 meter long ladder touches the top of ABC building when its foot is 5 meters away from the base of the building. How high is the building? So using this Pythagorean theorem, okay, so ngayon we are going to derive, okay, we are going to derive the formula based from this. But, okay, let's go now to the problem. So when you don't know how to analyze the tip there, you have to draw the figure first. Okay, so ngayon, magdodraw muna po kayo ng figure and the right triangle. You go back again to the problem. A 20 meter long ladder. When we say ladder, ito po yung sa Tagalog, is hagdanan, di po ba? So kapag naglalagay po kayo ng hagdanan, ano po yun? Nakaslant po ba or nakastraight? So, when you are going to think about it, ang hagdanan ay nakaslant. So therefore, ito po yung hagdanan ninyo. So kapag naglala when you are naglalagay po kayo ng hagdanan, di po ba nakaslant? So this is our ladder. So it means to say, uh, this is what we call 20 meter long ladder. Hindi naman po dito pwede kasi mahuhulog ka. Diba? Pag naghagdanan ka, nakaslant palagi. And then, ABC building. So like for example, this is an ABC building. It is only a representation when its foot is 5 meters away. Di po ba sa building, syempre, we don't have a building na naka-float. Nandito talaga sa base, na sa lupa. So, therefore, 5 meters is the base. And, how high is the building? It means to say, ito po yung hinahanap. This is our unknown. So, you go back to the general formula. We know that the general formula is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So, alam po natin na ang hinahanap po natin ay high, height of the building and that is, is A. So, you have to derive the formula again. So, therefore, derive the formula C squared from the general formula A squared plus B squared. So, you are looking for the value of A squared, di po ba? So, transpose B. When you are transposing a positive to the, the other side, it will become negative, right? So, C squared minus B squared is equal to A squared. So, therefore, the square root of C squared minus B squared, this is now the formula for your altitude. Okay, now, let us go now to the solution. You go back again, since this is A, it, we are looking for this. Okay, so using this formula, the square root of, what is the hypotenuse? So the hypotenuse is 20 squared minus the altitude, the base I mean is 5 squared. And that is equal to side A. Okay, so you go back here. So let us simplify 20 squared. 20 times 20, so that is equal to... 400 minus 5 squared that is equal to 25. Okay? So therefore, 400 minus 25, the square root is equal to 400 minus 25 that is equal to 375. So therefore, the square root of this 375 is equal to 19. If you will get in your calculator, and get the square root of 375, this will be your 19.5, and the unit is meters. So therefore, the height of this building is 19.4. So let us go back again. Let us analyze. We know that 19.4 is less than 20 meters, right? So, ganun, ganito pa rin po. Always remember that the hypotenuse is the longest side of a triangle. So, yun po ang value. Mas malaki po. So, this is now the process we're in. Not only that you are using only Pythagorean theorem, Pythagorean formula. Tawag po dito is Pythagorean formula. The theorem that I have stated just now is the square of this hypotenuse. So, this is the square Hypotenuse, the long basis po, is equal to the sum. When we say sum, you are adding it. 
the sum of the square of the two sides. So, uh, I hope that, guys, my dear students, I hope that you learned something today. And uh, always remember that learning math is fun. Have a great day, everyone.